It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. Tech in 2018 had its share of ups and downs, and so as the year comes to a close, Watch Mojo, of course, will show you the coolest gadgets and gear, but we also need to look at the biggest tech flops, whether it's a product, a company, a personality, or a technology. Hey everyone, welcome to Gear Up, the Watch Mojo series that looks at the latest in tech trends. I'm Mark Saltzman, and in this video, it's a look back at the Tech Hall of Shame, what were the biggest flops over the past 12 months? Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. All right, not listed in any particular order. Number one, Facebook. Not a good year for the biggest social media platform on the planet, including news breaking of the Cambridge Analytica scandal that resulted in a colossal data leak of about 87 million users to losing billions in company value and then being grilled by the U.S. Senate about privacy concerns to the delete Facebook movement, accusations of fake news, private documents seized in December, and then questioning by several countries about privacy practices. I think you get the idea. We are not going to go away, gentlemen. And this is a very big deal. Hey, we're not saying it's the beginning of the end, but the irony here is that Zuckerberg's 2018 New Year's resolution was to fix Facebook. Well, there's always next year. Number two, Facebook Portal. Not trying to pick on Facebook here, but for a company that might be dealing with some major trust issues with its users, do you really want to put a camera in your home from them? Could the timing be any worse for Facebook to launch Portal? Similar to Skype, Facebook, WhatsApp, and Google Duo, Portal and the larger Portal Plus lets you video chat with friends and family, this time over Facebook, thanks to its screen, camera, and voice-activated support for Alexa. Unlike other devices, the camera automatically pans and zooms to keep you in view, even if you're walking around the kitchen. No thanks, Facebook. Number three, Bitcoin. Cryptocurrencies had a volatile year, I know, understatement of the century. But it is true that Bitcoin and many others delivered the ultimate roller coaster ride to its investors. Or maybe it's not so much of a roller coaster, but a free fall. And it isn't like it just happened near the end of an up year. The price of Bitcoin fell by about 65% just from January to February alone, just after its peak in December 2017, when Bitcoin reached an all-time high of about 20,000 US. At the time of recording this, it's at 3,300. Oof. Number four, YouTube Music. How many times could you be nagged about a service no one wants? Well, YouTube Music Premium is one of those services. When you have awesome music options like Spotify, Amazon, Google Play Music, or Apple Music, or even the regular YouTube for that matter, do we really need more? And do we need to be pestered about it all the time? All right, so maybe it shouldn't make a worst list of 2018, but many are fed up at the constant nag screens to join. Plus, YouTube has started to serve heavy music listeners more ads in the hopes of annoying them into becoming paid subscribers to the company's premium version, as confirmed by YouTube themselves in an interview earlier this year. Number five, Spectacles by Snapchat. Okay, so there are a few different and less stupid looking versions of Snapchat's glasses, but whoever thinks these look cool in 2018 really need to give their head a shake. Okay, so they let you snap some pics or shoot video and share them over Snapchat, which isn't a bad idea out of this wearable, but just look at these things, including people like this woman who tried to make a taxi driver look bad by recording him confronting her only for the world to see later how rude she was with that dash cam footage. Okay, so you don't know the city or what? Under her breath, the woman says, maybe you should go back. Would you take a passenger like this seriously with these spectacles? It is a spectacle indeed. Number six, Logan Paul. What comes up must come down. Now, PewDiePie may have been public enemy number one last year for what was perceived as anti-Semitic content, but YouTuber Logan Paul took the crown in early 2018 when he filmed himself and his crew stumbling upon an apparent suicide victim in Japan's so-called suicide forest. He was immediately dropped from YouTube's Google Preferred program, which gives favorable ad rates to popular channels. Other filmed projects were canceled and big sponsors pulling out support too. He lost hundreds of millions of viewers, but after a heartfelt apology, some soul searching, and back to creating a lot of content, he had a profitable year in the end and he solidified his fan base. Number seven, Twitter and hate speech. Facebook wasn't the only social platform with a bad year. Twitter, too, is bursting at the seams with hate-filled content, some of which has been taken down by the company, gotta give them props for that, but a ton that is still published by the platform. 
Alt-right conspiracist Alex Jones was finally banned from Twitter, but why is Nation of Islam leader Farrakhan still allowed to spew racist hate? Doesn't make any sense. As a result, many have left Twitter's poisonous pages for good, because of standards being an inconsistent joke. Unless Twitter doesn't want to clean up its act, as it might be good for business, 2019 could be an even worse year for Twitter. And finally, number eight, Elon Musk. Hey, even one of the most brilliant minds of our generation could have an off year. In an extensive interview with the New York Times this past summer, the chief executive of Tesla and SpaceX said that this past year has been the most difficult and painful of his career. Since January, Musk has been involved in a string of controversies that have resulted in lawsuits, stock price drops, and just recently his removal as Tesla chairman. From smoking a joint in a podcast interview that had his shareholders freaking out, to insulting a British diver who aided in the cave rescue of Thai soccer players, to Tesla production challenges and profit pressure, let's hope Elon Musk's 2019 starts off as a much better one. Hey, thanks for watching Gear Up. I'm Mark Saltzman. Let us know what you'd like to see more of going forward on Gear Up. And for more Techtastic lists, be sure to subscribe to Watch Mojo. Happy holidays, everyone. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.